Hello YouTubers, this is Double the Dam. Uh, this is my third video blog as such. Um, I've been away a while and uh, I've tried to do a few things and it just kind of got too long to actually upload. So, this is my third and I'm going to be talking about pipes uh, with regard to buying a pipe. Now, if you've got a pipe, great. Um, just keep going at it and uh, if you like it, you will probably pick up some more pipes. If you haven't bought a pipe and you've considered buying a pipe for whatever reason, be it quitting with the cigarettes, uh, be it uh, cigars are too expensive, be it your granddad had one and you always fancied it for whatever reason, here's a little intro into what's out there. Firstly, I would say go to a good tobacconist in your area for your first pipe because often with your first pipe you'll it's important to kind of get uh, a liking for it for it and, and feel it really however if you wish to persist with the hobby and the pastime uh, and the enjoyment of smoking nicotine through a pipe um, I would suggest that you look online for some very good uh, valued pipes. There is an awful lot more to buy, uh, better values to buy on eBay, uh, be they second hand or new. Um, there are also an awful lot of online shops which are very, very good uh, value in comparison to uh, tobacconist shops. Tobacconist shops tend to have a very high markup, a high profit margin on uh, the selling of their pipes. So that's tip number one. I'll show you a few pipes here. Uh, one of the things, the general rules that would be said is buy a pipe around the 70 to 100 euro mark or around the 70 to 100 dollar mark because in America you will get for about 70 to 100 euros what you'll get uh, in dollars for what you will get for 70 to 100 euros here um, even with the exchange rate at the moment. So you know you get some really good bargains in the States. Again that's one reason why you should look at online companies working out of the States. Um, one of the things they will tell you is don't buy a varnished pipe. So there is a varnished pipe and you can see the high gloss finish. And this is actually a silver spigot and it's a big Ben, which are factory made pipes here in Holland and they're reasonably good value. Uh, I paid about 60 euros for this, 65 euros. They can be bought for 60, you can pay 80 for them. Okay. This is also a silver spigot and it is uh, matted and you can see from this that I have actually varnished off the varnish. Now the varnish means that it doesn't dry out so quickly when you smoke it it absorbs a lot of moisture from the burning of the tobacco um, so non-varnished pipes which are kind of just more waxed than high gloss are recommended. Um, for me, there, it is quite hard to buy uh, in the low range to mid range. There are a lot of pipes that have a, a heavy varnish. Some are just a painted on gloss. Some are a shellac, and that is a kind of paint mixed from uh, varnish and mixed with something else. So there are different types of uh, finishes. So a perfect finish that you would like is, is this one. This is a Larson's, and this is very much quite still quite shiny, but it doesn't have the high gloss on it. So maybe I show you another one. This is also a Larson's, and this is a pot. And again, it's looking a bit glossy there in the picture. But so it should be a bit glossy because there's a bit of wax on it, but it doesn't quite have the same high gloss effect. Okay. Now I'll just show you something here. These are all from the same range of pipes. This is a Larson Sandblast Crown Series. This is a reddish finish and it's a pot okay this is a champagne finish and it's a little bit lighter than the others okay so I'm dancing around pipes here this is quite light this is a red ish finish nice grain on there and this is a sandblast finish okay now traditionally sandblasts were said to be uh, a way of the manufacturer providing uh, pipes that the grain didn't look so great in the wood so he would kind of blast it out it would often have pits in the wood so when he sandblasted it wasn't an issue that it had pits in the wood um, and that's where you get the sandblast from however you get some really top quality sandblast these days uh, so the sandblast uh, the recommended retail price for this is about 80 euros this is the same series but it has a high gloss finish and the recommended re retail price uh, is 120 euros for this and with the less lighter less light color the red from the same series the retail price for that is a hundred so there you've got a difference between 
you know, 80, 100, okay, and 120. And they are all essentially the same level quality pipe apart from the shape. And in fact, I could have bought this pipe in the, a sandblast and in a red color and in the champagne color. Um, and they would all essentially be the same pipe apart from the finish. So, when you buy a sandblast, you save a lot of money. So definitely look at buying into sandblasts. I personally like sandblasts, and they are a lot cheaper. Uh, and the finishing for the pipe maker is, is a lot less and less time consuming, so they are a lot cheaper. And there you go. I'm going to show you something else, and that is a bent. Okay, The other pipes I've showed you are straight pipes. This is a bent. It's a big bend. Paid about 70 euros for this, 68 euros I paid for it. They retail for up to 100. Okay, and it's a bent. And it, oops, as he drops it over the keyboard, and the advantage of a bent is it's very comfortable. The gravity pull is down here, and it's close to the jaw, it's close to the teeth, so the gravity pull is makes it more comfortable. And also the bend, the full bend of the thing, very nice, oh, very comfortable to hold. We look a bit like a granddad. I'm growing a beard, so I look a bit like a granddad. And obviously the straights. A pull down, down, down there, so that's it. So if you want to buy a straight, you know, I tend to buy smaller straights like this one. I don't well, quite like. There you go. So bents are generally more comfortable. Uh, straights are obviously a little bit harder to clench in the teeth, but they look better, and they also have the advantage of this, and that is when the pipe gets a bit wet, you can just put a pipe cleaner down through it, okay, to soak up the moisture in the bottom of the bowl if it starts gurgling when you smoke. If you have a bent, it is harder to do that. You can still do that, but it's harder to do that. And that is why a lot of people buy shapes like this, a half bent. This is a half bent bulldog. It's a Savinelli. Paid about $38 online for that from uh, frenchiespipes.com. Very good, very, very good beginner's website uh, for both high grade and uh, medium low grade pipes very good frenchiespipes.com that is a half bent bulldog and so you have the advantage of it being half comfortable and half straight um, this does take a Savinelli s filter which you can take out but equally you can put the pipe clean cleaner down through this a bit more easily so half bents are very common because they literally have the comfort of the full bent and uh, the advantages of the straight okay so that's kind of a brief story on the on the straight bent thing as well i'll show you a couple more you get some really fun